Welcome to MoCo. My name is Stephanie Palomino. When was the last time you were sending out an SMS? Probably it's a while ago, because WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger are much more convenient tools. But the SMS is still growing internationally. And the main purpose is because a lot of companies are using SMS to reach out to their clients. Dimitri, you with Dent Admin, what is the reason you are still working with SMS? To be able to reach almost 100% of the customers. I heard the clients and the, the clinics are saving a lot of money through using the SMS. Do you have any numbers for us? Well, uh, on average, uh, a dental clinic has between 10 or 15 uh, appointments a day. Uh, on average, they have one no-show a day. They can, <coughs> if they can uh, limit that no-show to uh, zero, that would uh, have a benefit of uh, between uh, 6 and 10 percent. Wow. Well, that's a lot, yeah. So you're clinging still onto SMS. So uh, what do you think, how long it will be like that? I think it will still uh, last a couple of years. I don't think the telecom uh, providers will uh, take it out because I don't think it, it disturbs the, the, the way of a mobile phone is working. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's just like a basic thing. It's like phone calls and SMS is just the first step of uh, having a mobile phone, all the others are add-ons and that market like Facebook Messenger, uh, WhatsApp is, is still growing but there are a lot of different players on that uh, market too. Dimitri, thank you so much for uh, this insight and thank you so much for watching today and hope to see you soon.